Namaste, Dhanavak Pranam. By the instruction and grace of our spiritual master, Om Vishnu Pad, Paramahamsa Sri Pad Bhakti Madhava Puri Maharaj, we're here reading Srimad Bhagavatam. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Canto 3, the status quo, chapter 27, text 17. Divahutir Uvacha, Purusham Prakritir Brahman. Navimunchati karhichit, Anyonya pas frayat vachcha, Nityat bad anayo prabhu. Sri Devahuti inquired, My dear Brahmana, does material nature ever give release to the spirit soul? Since one is attracted to the other eternally, how is their separation possible? Purport. Devahuti, the mother of Kapiladev, here makes her first inquiry. Although one may understand that spirit, soul, and matter are different, their actual separation is not possible, either by philosophical speculation or by proper understanding. The spirit soul is the marginal potency of the Supreme Lord, and matter is the external potency of the Lord. The two eternal potencies have somehow or other been combined, and since it is so difficult to separate one from the other, how is it possible for the individual soul to become liberated? By practical experience, one can see that when the soul is separated from the body, the body has no real existence. And when the body is separated from the soul, one cannot perceive the existence of the soul. As long as the soul and body are combined, we can understand that there is life. <laughs> But when they are separated, there is no manifested existence of the body or the soul. This question asked by Devahuti of Kapiladev is more or less impelled by the philosophy of voidism. The voidists say that consciousness is a product of a combination of matter, and that as soon as the consciousness is gone, the material combination dissolves, and therefore there is ultimately nothing but voidness. This absence of consciousness is called nirvana in Mayavad philosophy. Text 18. Yata gandhasya bhumes cha na bhavo vyatir ekata apamra shasya cha yata kata budhe parasya cha. As there is no separate existence of the earth and its aroma, or of water and its taste, there cannot be any separate existence of intelligence and consciousness. Purport. The example is given here that anything material has an aroma. The flower, the earth, everything has an aroma. If the aroma is separated from the matter, the matter cannot be identified. If there is no taste to water, the water has no meaning. If there is no heat in the fire, the fire has no meaning. Similarly, when there is want of intelligence, spirit has no meaning. Text 19. Akartu karma bandho yam purushasya yad ashraya guneshu satsu prakrite Hence, even though he is the passive performer of all activities, how can there be freedom for the soul as long as material nature acts on him and binds him? Purport. Although the living entity desires freedom from the contamination of matter, he is not given release. Actually, as soon as a living entity puts himself under the control of the modes of material nature, his acts are influenced by the qualities of material nature, and he becomes passive. It is confirmed in Bhagavad Gita, Prakrite Kriyamanani Gunai Gunahi. The living entity acts according to the qualities or modes of material nature. He falsely thinks that he is acting but unfortunately he is passive. In other words, he has no opportunity to get out of the control of material nature because it has already conditioned him. In Bhagavad Gita, it is also stated 
that it is very difficult to get out of the clutches of material nature. One may try in different ways to think that everything is void in the ultimate, uh, in the ultimate issue, that there is no God, and that even if the background of everything is spirit, it is impersonal. This speculation may go on, but actually it is very difficult to get out of the clutches of material nature. Devahuti poses the question that although one may speculate in many ways, where is liberation as long as one is under the spell of material nature? The answer is also found in Bhagavad Gita 7.14. Only one who has surrendered himself unto the lotus feet of the Supreme Lord Krishna, Mam Evaye Prapadyante, uh, can he be freed from the clutches of Maya. Since Devahuti is gradually coming to the point of surrender, her questions are very intelligent. How can one be liberated? How can one be in a pure state of spiritual existence as long as he is strongly held by the modes of material nature? This is also an indication to the false mediator, or to the false meditator. This is also an indication to the false meditator. There are many so-called meditators who think, I am the supreme spirit soul. I am conducting the activities of material nature. Under my direction, the sun is moving and the moon is rising. Uh, they think that by such contemplation or meditation, they can become free. But it, uh, but it is seen that just three minutes after finishing such nonsensical meditation, they are immediately captured by the modes of material nature. Immediately after his high sounding meditation, the quote, the so-called meditator becomes thirsty and wants to smoke or drink. He is under the strong grip of material nature. Yet he thinks that he is already free from the clutches of Maya. This question of Devahutis is for such a person who falsely claims that he is everything, that ultimately everything is void, and that there is no sinful or pious activities. These are all atheistic inventions. Actually, unless a living entity surrenders unto the supreme personality of Godhead, as instructed in Bhagavad Gita, there is no liberation or freedom from the clutches of Maya. Text 20. Even if the great fear of bondage is avoided by mental speculation and inquiry into the fundamental principles, it may still appear again since its cause has not ceased. Purport. Material bondage is caused by putting oneself under the control of matter because of the false ego of lording it over material nature. Bhagavad Gita 7.27 states, Ichadvesha samutena, two kinds, of uh, two kinds of propensities arise in the living entity. One propensity is Icha, which means desire to lord it over material nature, or to be as great as the Supreme Lord. Everyone desires to be the greatest personality in this material world. Dvesha means envy. When one becomes envious of Krishna, or the Supreme Personality of God, one thinks, why should Krishna be all in all? I am as good as Krishna. These two items desire to be the lorded over um, these two items, desire to be the Lord and envy of the Lord, are the beginning cause of material bondage. As long as a philosopher, salvationist, or voidist has some desire to be supreme, to be everything, or to deny the existence of God, the cause remains and there is no question of his liberation. Devahuti very intelligently says one may theoretically analyze and say that by knowledge he has become freed, but actually as long as the cause exists, he is not free. Bhagavad Gita confirms that after performing such speculative activities for many, many births, when one actually comes to his real consciousness and surrenders unto the Supreme Lord, Krishna, uh, to the Supreme Lord Krishna, 
uh, then the fulfillment of his research and knowledge is actually achieved. There is a gulf of difference between theoretical freedom and actual freedom for material bondage. The Bhagavatam 10.14.4 says that if one gives up the auspicious path of devotional service and simply tries to know things by speculation, one wastes his valuable time. The result of such a labor of love is simply labor. There is no other result. The labor of speculation is ended only by exhaustion. The example is given that there is no benefit in husking the skin of an empty patty. The rice is already gone. Similarly, simply by the speculative process, one cannot be freed from material bondage, for the cause still exists. One has to nullify the cause, and then the effect will be nullified. This is explained uh, by the Supreme Personality of Godhead in the following verses. And we will uh, conclude our reading here today. We'll continue from text 21 on Wednesday. Jai Om Vishnu Pad Paramahamsa Sri Pad Bhakti Madhava Pori Maharaj Ki Jai. Jai Srila Prabhupada, Srila Guru Maharaj, Srila Guru Dev, Srila Acharya Dev, Srila Shanta Maharaj Ki Jai. Jai Rupa Nuga Guru Varga Ki Jai. All glories to the assembled devotees, all glories to the worldwide devotees. Sama Bhakti Veda Vrinda Ki Jai. Jai Navadvip Dham Ki Jai, Nasringapali Dham Ki Jai, Mayapur Dham Ki Jai. Jagannath Puri Dham Ki Jai, Baladev Subhadra Jagannath Ju Ki Jai. Ganga Mai Yamuna Mai Ki Jai, Vrindavan Dham Ki Jai. Giri Govardhan Gupta Govardhan Dham Ki Jai, Sham Kun Radha Kun Ki Jai. Tulsi Devi Bhakti Devi Vrinda Devi Ki Jai, Jai Shrimad Bhagavatam Ki Jai, Jai Shri Odan Shasti Ki Jai, Jai Abir Bhav Mam Hotsav, Shri Sutta Madan Maharaj Ki Jai. Nitai Gaur Premanandi Hari 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 Bo. Anubhav Pranam.